In this section, I will be talking about a drawing tool which is used to fill enclosed areas. It's the command hatch. Now I'm going to turn on the command hatch. It's located here at the drawing panel and I have to click inside an enclosed area. Press enter to confirm. Then by dragging the mouse over, you can see that it's a hatch object. Now I will show you another way to use hatch. I click again here and then instead of pressing enter, I fill a different area right away. What happened is that both areas are now a single object. Above, a new tab appeared at a ribbon specialized for editing hatches. I'm going to show you briefly the functions here. I'm going to click on this button at this panel and you can see a lot of patterns to use here. The first one, solid, it fills the area with just one color. I choose, for example, this. Now let's have a look at the options at this side. On these controls, I change the scale. Look how is the effect. On the angle tab above, I can rotate the pattern. Finally, on hatch transparency, I add a transparent effect to the objects. I want to mention one thing. When I first tried to change the scale, by clicking on the controls, I realized that these values didn't change a lot. Even if I type a number with decimals, it shows just zero. When this happens, it means that I should go to the unit properties, type UN and press enter. And in this tab, I need to set decimals. For example, two decimal cases then it should work fine. Okay, thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to Cat in Black if you haven't done it yet. Just click in the icon that is shown here. Also, if you need online private lessons, you can send me an email to the address that I show you there. So, it's everything and see you next time.